Ernie Medina with TRB. Today I'd like to do a video with you today talking about different boots and different options out there, particularly with regards to the Ultima line. But before I go into specific information around each product or boot, I uh, just want to say that different people have different needs with regards to their feet. So it's very important that you pay attention to the needs of, of your feet in regards to picking shoes or boots. So this is to say that uh, uh, there are many different uh, brands or types of boots out there that be, may be better suited for any one person. Uh, so I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about the Ultima line and, and how I think it works for me. Uh, and it might work for you, but this is not to say that this uh, works for everyone. So there are many different brands out there with regards to boot and shoes. Uh, and the biggest thing is that they, they provide support and they're, they're very comfortable. Because if your feet are not comfortable, you're not going to be effective on the training field or out on the range. So today we're going to go over three different types of shoes with regards to the Ultima boot line uh, for different purposes. Uh, now, before I go into the specifics, I just want to disclaim that uh, Ultima or Original SWAT uh, has not asked me to, uh, to provide this review. I'm not getting compensated for doing this review. So this is coming straight from my opinion and my experience with all these three different types of, of footwear. So the first thing uh, we're going to go over today is the Elite Division uh, Maritime Low uh, shoe that Ultima has. Now, this is also considered a boot by, by their, their uh, product menu. Uh, and the purpose here is for maritime use, uh, mainly if you're doing uh, dive ops uh, or going ship to shore. Uh, a lot of spec ops uh, use uh, these shoes because it's fin compatible. Uh, so they can take their dive fins, slip them on over these shoes, and when they get to shore, they can quickly uh, doff their, their um, fins and get going. The uh, couple things with regards to this is that the, uh, the sole here, uh, and as you can see, I've, I've used it a couple times, but the sole here uh, is uh, good for grip. So this will grip really, really well. Uh, not only on sand or beach, uh, but on normal uh, terrain or, or desert terrain. Uh, in addition, uh, it is also uh, slip resistant. Uh, so in, in those surfaces where you're on a boat and it's uh, very easy to slip, uh, this has a, a slip resistant technology uh, that'll help uh, against that. Another thing that uh, is specific to uh, this shoe or boot uh, is that it has a nylon shank running through uh, the long uh, edge of the, or the long end of the uh, of the shoe and the purpose of that is is when uh, you're going up and down ladders or you're you're going over rocky terrain uh, the shank will prevent uh, that rock or that ladder rung from digging into your your foot uh, so so good there and that shank is also uh, airport safe uh, so will not trip any metal detectors if you're traveling as well uh, the other thing here, it has uh, Cordura uh, 1000D uh, Cordura here that uh, is made of the panel. So very durable, very strong. And at the same time, it also has uh, anti-moisture or moisture wicking technology that uh, once you go from, say, uh, uh, the water onto, onto sand or onto whatever, uh, very quick drying uh, and wicks the moisture away. Now, uh, in the, uh, the, the insert here on the, on the shoe, it has a vinyl or rubber insert uh, as well as a, a, a non-absorbing uh, sole. So that way it's not going to take on water and it's not going to uh, become heavy uh, as you move from uh, water to shore. Uh, and then also it has on both sides here and here, it has uh, a drainage uh, hole essentially. And it's very subtle. Uh, it has a drainage hole here, so any water that is uh, is built up in the shoe uh, as you come off the uh, off the water, uh, it'll just drain very easily off to the side. And then, lastly, of course, uh, very uh, uh, stylish shoe. So even if you are not using it for for operational use or anything like that, uh, really comfortable shoe to have for uh, casual wear or, or street wear. Uh, I use this uh, personally for uh, for casual use and uh, the ability to uh, to go from say. Um, uh, just walking around to maybe having to run or anything like that. So I use it personally when I'm, I'm carrying EDC and things like that uh, because I know I've got a good pair of shoes on my feet and I can go from uh, lounging around to uh, uh, running or, or moving or whatever I have to do that's more tactical in nature. So great uh, uh, low cut boot to have or uh, shoe to have uh, for your, your arsenal. The next boot I'd like to go over is the Vengeance six inch uh, model, six inch boot uh, made by Ultima. 
Couple things about uh, this boot. So the, the outer contents are made out of a combination of uh, leather and mesh, okay? Uh, which makes it lightweight and still sturdy. Uh, the other part here, it has on the inside, it has the uh, side zip, so the YKK side zip, so a very strong zipper, as well as the Velcro latch on top that helps protect the zipper from falling down or getting caught in something and, and thus uh, uh, pulling the zipper down. Uh, it also has a, a speed lace uh, technology on the side. So basically, if you need to get the boots on quickly and lace them up quickly, uh, you have them laced up over here, you just pull and they, they cinch tight very, very easily. Uh, and with the side zip, you can leave your, your boots uh, laced, unzip the side, take them on and off, and that's something that helps uh, with uh, speediness. Uh, in addition, uh, the, uh, the lining on the inside of this particular boot uh, is of, of mesh, but it also has anti-microbial anti uh, properties that will help protect the, uh, the foot uh, from uh, any uh, uh, harmful agents uh, that are on the ground. Now, uh, that's important for uh, mainly police when they're dealing with stuff on the ground or blood or whatever pathogens that, that might exist uh, in their daily duties, as well as uh, any military. Uh, another thing to note here, uh, it has a, a nylon shank that runs uh, through the sole uh, on the bottom. So again, it provides uh, added support when you're going over rocks, uh, ladder rungs, or anything like that. Uh, so, so that added support uh, does not affect you or, or doesn't uh, hurt you as you're going over these, uh, these objects. Uh, in addition, the, uh, the patented uh, sole provides uh, anti-slip uh, grip. So if you're on what would normally be slippery substances uh, or, or surfaces, uh, it'll help uh, protect, uh, as well as it also has a non-skid uh, or non-marking uh, 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 type of, of sole. So that way, uh, if you're ever on a gym floor or anything like that, you're not gonna leave scuff marks. Uh, so that's, that's good there. The, the midsole or the sole of the, uh, of the boot is made out of uh, AVA uh, technology and AVA. Uh, is uh, ethylene vinyl acetate. Uh, and for you chemistry uh, majors out there, that, uh, as you know, is a, a, a rubber or vinyl-like uh, substance. But uh, basically, the AVA technology gives the, uh, the sole uh, properties of rubber or vinyl, so, so gripping properties and things like that, uh, but also gives it a lightweight technology with it. So a lot of chemistry involved there. Uh, I will leave that to a, a separate day and sep separate topic, but how that is, is relevant for uh, this particular boot and our use is that it provides uh, uh, lightweight properties while maintaining uh, a strength uh, and durability, uh, as well as maintaining the properties of rubber and vinyl. So if there are any electrical properties associated with it, it will take on similar properties or similar performance of that of rubber and vinyl. Uh, so, so great thing to, to have here. Now, one thing that, that I do, and uh, this is uh, specific to the, the Ultima boot, just as, as many shoes or boots uh, come with a removable uh, uh, a cushion pad. Now, this is made or with the, uh, the Poron uh, cushion pad, so uh, this is a really good cushion pad to have in, in your boot. Uh, but if you're flat-footed like me, uh, basically what you can do is you can swap this out uh, for a, uh, a different type of cushion pad that supports uh, the type of arch that you have and things like that. So you can modify this to your specific needs uh, so it's not limited to, hey, I, I've got flat feet, this doesn't work for me, or I've got high arches, whatever. You could always swap these out uh, and, then, and then they do the job. So this is a great boot to have for your everyday lightweight duty, uh, whether it be on the range uh, or out about in the street. So the next boot we're going to go over is the Vengeance 8-inch uh, style boot, uh, which is for the most part identical to the 6-inch Vengeance. The only difference, as you can see, is that the uh, boot is about two inches taller uh, than the six inch. Now, why and how that matters is for added ankle support. Uh, so if you're doing uh, still lightweight duty, uh, you don't require steel toe boots or anything like that. Uh, but if you are, are doing some more active uh, type of activity that uh, requires more ankle support, the two inches as it cinches up a little bit higher on your, your leg is gonna give you the added support uh, in the ankle area. 
Uh, this is something that uh, particularly I use uh, for more uh, active mountaineering, hiking, or anything that I'm doing that's more uh, military related. Uh, so great military uh, style boot uh, if you are doing any type of activities or any mountaineering that, uh, that requires that. But otherwise, the same properties as the six inch uh, uh, Vengeance. And again, has the combination of the leather and the, uh, the mesh uh, uh, outer, outer contents, uh, so lightweight and still durable. Uh, now it has uh, uh, one more speed lace uh, eyelet over here. Uh, so again, you have the ability to cinch the boot on or, or off in this case uh, very, very easily. And then we still have the YKK side zip uh, that uh, is easy on and easy off. And a great uh, zipper, very durable. Uh, certainly I've, I've used actually the six inch uh, Vengeance quite a bit uh, and the zipper certainly holds up for a lot of activities. Uh, as well, you have the antimicrobial uh, uh, cushion on the inside. It's gonna help uh, protect against any pathogens there. And then we still have the Ava Soul technology uh, that's going to provide uh, that extra support and cradling on the, uh, on the foot. Uh, and then we also have the non-skid or anti-slip uh, sole on the bottom. Overall, uh, great boot to have if you're doing uh, more heavy activity. Again, law enforcement, military, this is a great daily patrol boot to have uh, uh, in, your, in your kit. Uh, so that way you can actually uh, still remain comfortable, but uh, have the ability to have that ankle support and, and everything that goes along with a great boot. So these are the boots uh, offered by uh, Ultima Footline. Uh, now, there are other boots that they offer, but these are the three uh, that I specifically have product knowledge about and that I've actually used. Uh, and a little story, a background about why Ultima. Uh, many of you have probably heard of the company, especially if you've been in the military. The uh, company's been around since uh, 1969 and uh, originally um, by itself, but has recently, in recent years, merged with Original SWAT. Uh, another great company and another uh, uh, company that uh, does a lot of great boots. In fact, I've had the opportunity to, uh, to meet the, uh, the owner and his son. Great people, uh, great story on, on their part, and uh, they have great products. So I um, uh, can't say enough great things about Altima and the original SWAT uh, company and team. Now, uh, another specific thing about uh, me with regards to Altima, I've been using them since actually 1999. Uh, so I've had the better part of 20 years uh, with the various different types of boots. Uh, and one particular story uh, with regards to Ultima is um, I know they, their stuff works because uh, outside of my time in the, uh, in the military, I also ride motorcycles. And in uh, 2006, um, I went down on a motorcycle and uh, my bike was actually pinned uh, or pinned my foot or, uh, in between the bike and the ground. And I was, I was wearing the, uh, the, uh, the classic Ultima 9-inch uh, uh, all leather boot, uh, that boot and that sole actually stood up to the weight of the, uh, the motorcycle and prevented my foot from being crushed. Uh, so, so, uh, that was something that, that essentially solidified my, uh, confidence in, uh, in Ultima, uh, and their product, uh, made in the USA and of the highest quality. I cannot say enough good things about them, but again, uh, shoes and boots are something specific to each person. Uh, I certainly encourage you all to uh, give them a shot if it works for you, but there are many other uh, companies and many other types of boots out there that, that will fit you. So pick the one that's comfortable, but give Ultima a shot if that's your fancy. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like and subscribe with the buttons below, and hit that bell to be alerted for future videos.